What's your best examples of when a villain was right? Ken from the B-movie. I too would go absolutely berserk if a talking bee stole my girlfriend and gaslit me into thinking I was crazy. Jim LaHaye just wanted a clean, quiet, recidivist free trailer park. Our Count Dooku, in the end, he was moved by genuine anger towards the Senate's corruption, but the dark side corrupted him into a mirror of the corruption he hated, in the service of the one who benefited the most from said corruption. Count Dooku is an elegant character that is criminally underrated. Tom Cat, from Tom and Jerry. Tom, trips over Spike's pup. Spike, don't touch my kid, Cat. Tom, lies down to take a nap. Jerry, starts annoying Tom who just wants to sleep. That sequence is probably 80% of the episodes. The Dad in the Lego Movie Legit had the most impressive Lego city I've ever seen and his dumb kid was messing around and wrecking all the time and effort he put into it. They're expensive. General Hummel, Ed Harris, from The Rock. Maybe not his tactics, but his reasoning was solid. I felt like they were grasping at straws to make Killmonger look bad in Black Panther. He was perfectly right about everything and then out of nowhere, he was just like Race War. We gonna subjugate the world motherfuckers, for no reason. Pierce Brosnan in Mrs. Doubtfire talks about how much he loves the kids and takes them on vacation and legit seems like a much better dad that'll Robin Williams character. Pagan Men from Far Cry 4 The country wasn't perfect, but by the time the protagonist rips through, no matter if they help the traditional male rebel or the modernist female rebel, things are just as bad, or worse, than before. The modernist lady turns the country into a giant opium farm, destroys the local traditional culture, and deports a teenage girl to ensure she doesn't get unseated herself. The traditionalist man, while not growing drugs anymore, still leaves the country really poor and forces everyone back into the most extreme portions of the local culture slash religion. Pagan men might have been scalping off the populace and being an asshat, but the rebels were poopy too. Where's my goddamned electric car, Bruce? Skelator. It did appear to be his castle. None of you said the most terrifying one. Mo Jojo -Jo from the Powerpuff Girls. He wanted to bring free energy and advanced technology to the people. And in one episode he actually did. He made the world an amazing place. And then the Powerpuff Girls ruined it all. Red Queen Resident Evil 1. She did what was necessary to prevent T-Virus from escaping the facility. The head chef in Ratatouille. He was wrong about some stuff, but was 100% right in not wanting rats in the kitchen cooking. Magneto is my favorite villain of all time. Every time his motives are brought to light I get that yeah, I kinda get it moment. Shere Khan from The Jungle Book the 2016 live-action version. He comes during the drought, sees the man-cub and warns everyone of the damage he can do, that he's a cub now but will become a man and man is forbidden from the jungle. So what does Mowgli do? He steals fire from the human village, brings it to the jungle and causes a fire that probably killed a lot of animals before the elephants showed up and put it out. Zima in Captain America, Civil War my father lived outside the city. I thought we would be safe there. My son was excited. He could see the Iron Man from the car window. I told my wife don't worry. They're fighting in the city. We're miles from harm. When the dust cleared, and the screaming stopped, it took me two days until I found their bodies. My father still holding my wife and son in his arms. And the Avengers. They went home. The sharks from Sharnado. Can you imagine you're just swimming around, minding your own business, then all of a sudden a tornado picks you up out of nowhere, drops you on land, and now you have to deal with Tara Reed? Yeah, I would start biting people too. Baby's dad in Dirty Dancing. Baby's like 16 in that movie. 
he was absolutely right to be wary of a dude in his mid-twenties hanging out with his teenage daughter. Edit, for those pointing out errors in my post here, I haven't watched the movie in like 20 years. I just remember Baby being young, and Johnny being a creep, and the whole nobody puts Baby in a corner scene. Loki wasn't wrong about Thor being unfit to rule a scar. I mean, in the end Valkyrie ended up ruling while Thor ate Cheetos.